Welcome everyone to this Click Create Artist Spotlight. Today we have Palette Box. What inspires you to create? Most of the time my inspiration comes from my everyday observations. I love to look at details and different compositions that I see on the streets while I take a walk or visit a new place and I always try to integrate them into my work in a different manner. I also think a powerful influence comes from my professional background in architecture. Colors are one of the most powerful tools that an artist can use and most of the time when I build a color palette for a piece, I find a lot of inspiration in retro images and old advertising archives. Sometimes it can be spontaneous, but in most cases it's only based on research and hours spent digging on the internet or vintage books and magazines. What are your goals as a digital artist? I'm always very happy if my work brings joy, a smile, or a little bit of nostalgia. It all started with the idea of making a name for myself as an artist, but right now, one of my constant goals is to make people resonate with my work. Creating stories through a visual piece should be one of the most important goals for an artist from my perspective. What advice can you offer to aspiring digital artists? Keep doing your best work every day and someone will notice your efforts. Even if it sounds cliche, don't give up because it's a bumpy road and it's not an easy career. You can imagine that it comes with a lot of frustration and risks, but also comes with high rewards. This is purely based on my experience because I'm sure every artist has his path. What's next on your artistic journey? My newest collection, Blue Mosaic, is one of the most exciting projects that I've started lately. The collection will be an ode to the 60s and 70s architecture and design movements depicted in vibrant colors. I think it's a great starting point for me because I know that era only from the internet archives and old commercials. It's funny and educational to see what people of that time often imagined how the future would look like. I also think people were happier and used to love their craft. The term mosaic used in the name of the collection refers to this because it is something that you need to enjoy to create. You need to take your time and put that extra effort into the details. What were your goals for this Click Create edition? I hope I managed to introduce all of you to a little bit of the historical part of Bucharest. The references are from places that I see daily so you could say I took you on a little walk on the city streets. I'll leave you with this. In the heart of the city, amidst office buildings and the daily rush, there's a neighborhood I pass by almost every day. Its streets are lined with art deco buildings, each one expressing its unique elegance and grandeur. Every time I walk through that neighborhood, I can't help but think about the numerous stories captured on those buildings walls. How did it look in its glory days? Who used to live here?